Hello. Hello. So what are you showing off today? So if you ever printed something on web, you know how it goes, right, the story. Typically, uh, you have a lot of content on web which you don't want, like ads, comments, a lot of spacing, and when you do a printout, this is how typically how it looks, right? It is a lot of wasted ink, a lot of wasted paper, and content that is not going to be really useful for what you're trying to do. Okay, as you can see here, it's 11 sheets of paper, the same thing that I just printed out, it's not content that you want. So what we do is, believe it or not, our printer is doing what you asked it to do. We, this is what he used to ask us to do, and we used to just do this for you. But now we're changing that. With HP Print AI, we understand your intent, so we know that you're trying to print, in this case, a recipe article. And so what you're really looking for recipe is understanding what the recipe is, what the ingredients are, and the instructions. Right? So what we do is, we have trained our model, the large language model, and trained it to understand what bad is. So things like ads, comments, <coughs> white spaces, spacing, wrong page breaks, all that we have trained it to understand. These are things that users don't like. Also, we have trained it to understand what good looks like. We have eight years of history. And from there, we give you layouts in terms of how it should look perfect. And so in this case, we do that for you, right off the bat. And then we give you some other options, simple prompts, which if you think you want directions only, just click on that and we just print that for you because that's all you're looking at. What we also have is a chat feature. If you click on that chat feature, you can also like go to the external of saying like, I want ingredients in direction plus an image and we can just do that for you. So make it very simple and getting it right for you. And we have other examples here, which is a news, news article and you can see how bad that is. Mm -hmm. We just get it out perfect for you. And then similarly, we have another one, which is a <coughs> education article and this is like almost 20, 30 pages, <laughs> and you want it for your kid, and this is not going to be right. We know a kid is going to, going to keep it in the backpack, and this is perfectly formatted for him or her. Do you have a spreadsheet? Right? I that have was a, a good example, yeah, I, think, I think, because it's everyone's it's suffered that pain. Yeah, I, can put that demo. I don't have a printout of it, but I can just do so This is the spreadsheet, and this is a very common spreadsheet, right? It's a big table with a single graph. You can see here the graph doesn't have a a legend or a title, none of that information is there. It has a lot of different columns which are not properly arranged. And typically when you go ahead and use Excel's functionality of printing, you know what will happen. It will get you only a few columns. This is real painful. This is actually live code that's running. And you might choose one of the print things to try to fit it into the screen, but it will waste still a lot of thing. And more important, you won't be readable mm -hmm. because they don't know that. Like we know what our printers are. We know what kind of paper you have. Understanding all that information, what we do is with our print AI, We'll get it in the perfect format for you. So it needs to be readable. It needs to be exactly how you think it can be useful for you when you use it. And we also understand like people like the headers across the different things. If, uh, <coughs> if you have a graph and doesn't have a title, we'll add it for you. You might have missed it. Or in this case, we added the title because we understand the context of it. So you just get it right for you right from there. Awesome. Thank you very much. Absolutely.